I think of it as two things. One is it's crowdfunding, and it's globally cloud crowdfunding. So now, if you if you're a kid in India with a great idea, you know you could actually have seventeen thousand people put in fifty bucks all over the world in thirty minutes. The second piece is that there's people who are creating new protocols. Like the ones that I think are the most exciting are these kind of utility tokens. They call it like Filecoin and Gollum, and there are ways to essentially. Uh, pay people for either storage or computing power all over the world. It does make sense to me that those should have their own native token because it allows, uh, you know, essentially the early adopters to turn you turn them into evangelists. Mm. So it's a great way as an entrepreneur to create a network effect. You're buying a coin, and by buying that coin, you are either getting behind the mission, getting behind the movement. Of that group, and hoping that the movement becomes so big that maybe that coin becomes more valuable, or maybe you're just enthusiastic about the mission. For an entrepreneur, yes, it's a great way to raise money. The individual investor has been cut completely out of the growth of the yeah. early stage for the last. 15 years. All that regulation, all that stuff that our government has put in there to protect us, yeah, has really destroyed, created more poverty than anything else. Yeah.